Good afternoon. Um, my name is Ruta, uh, and it is with extreme joy that I join everyone today in welcoming our class to a very impressive community. By this time tomorrow, we will all be Harvard Law School alumni. We will be sharing this privilege with many great leaders who have already inspired many of us professionally and personally. This privilege also comes with a great responsibility to serve our communities and our profession well. And the president of the Harvard Law School Alumni Association, Mr. Daniel Eaton, is here today to welcome us to this new page of our lives. Mr. Eaton received his Bachelor of Science degree from Georgetown University in 1984 and received his Harvard School degree, cum laude, in 1989. Upon graduating from law school, Mr. Eaton went to San Diego to practice law. He's a partner in the litigation department of the San Diego law firm of Seltzer Kaplan McMahon Vitek and teaches at the San Diego State University College of Business Administration. He's also the former chair and a current member of the San Diego County Bar Association Legal Ethics Committee and has served on numerous government and nonprofit boards. Please welcome Mr. Eaton. Uh, thank you very much, Aruda. The Harvard Law School Association, of which I am pleased to be president, is your alumni association. And about this time tomorrow, you are all going to become members of that association for the rest of your lives. <laughs> so let me be the first to welcome you in advance and honor you as Harvard Law School alumni. Just let that sink in for a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Now, your classmate May May put it absolutely perfectly in a recent interview when he said that Harvard Law School is a magical place that too few people appreciate. So let me... <laughs> Let me be clear right now that I am completely with Mamie and that I absolutely loved my three years at Harvard Law School. From the constructive brutality of the first year with, among others, professors Martha Minow and Todd Rakoff, who, bless their heart, are still teaching 30 years later, <laughs> to the deep satisfaction and, frankly, relief of completing my third year paper. And I feel deep pride in this institution. My feelings about the school, ladies and gentlemen, were captured in a statement that I made that was published in the yearbook in 1989. And I'd just like to read you those words. It has taken me almost three years to realize that the greatness that I assumed was mine simply by entering HLS was backwards. Harvard's reputation as a truly good and decent place to study law owes less to the few great men and women who have distinguished themselves in positions of public importance, though there is justifiable institutional pride in these people, than to the many ordinary graduates who have served their gods and faith conscientiously, loved their family and friends dutifully, and contributed to their professions and community generously. Harvard Law School's enduring preoccupation, in short, as a truly good and great place to study law lies in its commitment to developing ordinary professionals dedicated not just to the finest practice of law, but to the greatest measure of justice. Now, I feel those words more strongly now than I did 30 years ago, almost to the day when I was sitting right where you are. Of course, we didn't have class day when I graduated, but let's leave that aside. <laughs> that is in part, the reason I feel those words so strongly is because of my involvement in the Harvard Law School Association, which has allowed me to see HLS and her progeny evolve and thrive. And the Harvard Law School Association is how you will be able to be involved going forward when you leave these gates. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, the focus is on you and the opportunities and choices that lay ahead of you. And you are young, your future bright, the world an open door, the galaxy within your grasp, the sky for you, a floor. Believe it, ladies and gentlemen, of the class of 2019, the best is yet to come. 
Thank you.